If you ever played Roblox, World of Warcraft, Angry Birds or even messed around with game modes, you've already touched Lua, even if you didn't know it. But here's the weird part. Lua is tiny, simple and almost invisible compared to giants like C++ or Python. So why do game studios still rely on it in 2025? Today, let's uncover why Lua became the secret weapon of game development and why it refuses to die. To understand that, we need to rewind. Lua wasn't built in Silicon Valley or backed by a tech giant. It was created in the early 90s by a small team of developers in Brazil. Their goal wasn't to take over the world. They just wanted a lightweight scripting tool for their projects. But what they accidentally created would go on to power some of the most successful games ever made. Lua's story begins in 1993 at the Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro. At that time, Brazil had strict restrictions on importing foreign software, so developers often had to build their own tools. A small research group led by Roberto Jerusalemski, Luis Enrique de Figueiredo and Valdemar Celes needed a simple, flexible scripting language. Instead of waiting for something from overseas, they built their own. That language was Lua, which by the way means moon in Portuguese. From the start, Lua was designed to be lightweight and fast. It wasn't meant to replace giants like C or C++. Instead, it was meant to sit on top of them. Think of it like a thin layer of scripting glue. You write the heavy, performance-critical engine in C++, then let Lua handle the flexible parts like AI behaviors, mods or game logic. That design choice is exactly what made Lua a perfect fit for video games. So, what exactly makes Lua so good for games? Three things. It's lightweight, embeddable and fast. First, lightweight. Lua's entire source code is smaller than many modern frameworks. You don't need a massive runtime or heavy libraries. It's minimal, clean and easy to bundle into almost any project. That means studios can add Lua in their game engines without bloating performance. Second, embeddable. Unlike most languages, Lua was designed from day one to plug into other systems. You don't just write in Lua, you embed Lua inside your game. The heavy lifting, physics, rendering, optimization all stays in C++. But when it comes to scripting quests, handling AI behaviors or letting modders extend a game, Lua takes over. It's like giving developers and players a flexible remote control without touching the engine's core. And third, speed. For a scripting language, Lua is shockingly fast. It can compete with raw C++, but compared to Python or JavaScript, Lua runs closer to the metal. That balance, not as complex as C++, not as slow as other scripting languages, is exactly why it fits so well in game loops where performance matters. And here's the bonus. Lua is incredibly simple. It has only 21 reserved words, where Python has 35, C has around 30 and C++ goes up to 63, not to mention Java 68 keywords. In addition, Lua has only one main data structure, the table, and you can use it to build anything, arrays, dictionaries, even objects. Combine that with its clean, almost minimalist syntax and you get a language that's easy to pick up, yet powerful enough to scale. That simplicity makes it not only developer friendly, but also modder friendly, which is huge in game communities. Put those strengths together and you get the secret sauce. Lua plus C++ is a powerhouse combo. C++ provides stability and raw power, while Lua adds flexibility and rapid iteration. That's why so many legendary studios adopted it, and why it's still alive today. So where has Lua actually been used? The list might surprise you. Let's start with the big one, Roblox. Every single experience on Roblox runs on Lua. Millions of young developers learned programming through Lua because it was simple, safe and perfect for scripting game logic. Without Lua, Roblox probably wouldn't have exploded the way it did. Then there's World of Warcraft. Blizzard embedded Lua into WoW to let players customize their experience with add-ons. 
Everything from custom UI mods to complex gameplay helpers exists because Lua gave the community the power to extend the game. That modding culture kept WoW alive and thriving for decades. On the strategy side, Civilization 5 and 6 and the Total War series both use Lua for game logic and modding. Fans have created new maps, AI tweaks and full scenario packs, all thanks to Lua. It became the bridge between hardcore strategy mechanics in C++ and the creativity of players. And we can't forget Angry Birds, that little mobile game that took over the world in the 2010s. Its gameplay logic was powered by Lua running inside the box to the engine. Lua's speed and simplicity made it perfect for mobile where performance is critical. Even open world blockbusters like Grand Theft Auto V have Lua roots in their massive modding community. Tools like 5M rely on Lua scripts to let players build roleplay servers, custom missions and new gameplay systems. Again, Lua isn't the star of the engine, but it's the language that keeps the community alive. Roblox, World of Warcraft, Total War, Civilization, GTA, Angry Birds, all widely different genres, all powered by the same little scripting language. And this is exactly why Lua earned its place in game development history. This is the magic formula. C++ provides the stability and raw power, while Lua adds speed, flexibility and creativity. Together they create games that are both technically solid and endlessly adaptable. Without C++, Lua wouldn't shine. Without Lua, C++ would be a lot less flexible. It's the partnership that makes the difference. So, why is Lua still so popular in game development? The answer is simple, it found the perfect role. Lua doesn't try to be the fastest or the flashiest. Instead, it complements C++ by being lightweight, flexible and incredibly easy to use. That combination has powered some of the biggest games ever made. It's the language that hides in plain sight. Most players never notice it, but without Lua, their favorite games would feel a lot less customizable, moddable and alive. That's why Lua became the secret weapon of game development, and why it refuses to die in 2025. Of course, this raises another question. Will something ever replace Lua? Could TypeScript, Python or even custom scripting systems take its place in the future? That's a story for another video. Thanks for watching and if you love digging into the hidden tech behind games, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you around.